We're going live. Testing my 1.5 horsepower protégé bump. Purchased uh, late uh, 2019 from medicines.com.au. It's tripping out for no real reason. And uh, I'm resetting the overload. I've just got a very small discharge. I'm running it uh, with a restriction. The pressure's at 800 kilopascals. You know, I can run this ball free flow when I first tested it. Um, this ball produces in excess of 5,000 gallons per hour, not litres, gallons. It's done that for 20 years. The only problem I got right now is this pump isn't delivering. My electrician's tested the controller box. She said there's no problems. He said, ask me, is the pump out of China? And I said, yes. And he said, you've got a dud pump, mate. You'll have to pull it up. There we are. You know, I've never had a ball pump like this in all my life. Um, so short lived. That there is a 50 millimetre check valve. I've dismantled that, it's functional. This is 40 millimetre, 50 millimetre tap. Uh, this is just the matching pipe to the main line. You know, I can run that like that um, normally, but it's just slowly dying, and uh, all I can do is get enough water for my bees. Oh, you know, it would take hours just to fill my tank up at that rate. Uh, this is just a hobby farm, and I'm just hoping for some positive results from the supplies of this pump being my first, pers first purchase. I need to... Um, water my bees as a legal requirement um, even as a hobby beekeeper I have to do that and the RSPCA so I need a replacement pump before I pull this one up otherwise I can't fulfill my legal obligations to my livestock even as a hobbyist thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you next time